Hello learners, welcome to the video. In today's class, we will be discussing farm system, farming types and subsistence farming and its two subtypes, intensive subsistence farming and shifting cultivation in detail. Let's take a look at the topics that we will be discussing in today's class. Farm system, farming types, subsistence farming, intensive subsistence farming, shifting cultivation. Every system has three elements for working, input, process and output. You are familiar with the calculator. It is an electronic system. What happens when you press 3 plus 2? It gives you 5. You give it inputs by pressing buttons. Then it processes and gives you the result. Agriculture is also like a system. This system involves input, processing and output. Seeds, fertilizers, machinery and labor are inputs of the agriculture system. A farmer provides these inputs to his field. Then the farmer performs various operations like plowing, sowing, irrigation, weeding and harvesting and gets output in the form of crops. This system also applies to a dairy owner, a sheep herder and a poultry owner. Only inputs, processing and output differ. But do you think that the working of farmers all over the world is the same? No. Their working is decided by the geographical conditions, the demand for produce, labour and level of technology. The different working gives origin to the farming types. Farming types are broadly divided into two, subsistence farming and commercial farming. Let's have some basic knowledge about subsistence farming. Are you ready? So learners, do you have any idea about how many acres do you need for a subsistence farm? Any guesses? Okay, so you will need a backyard that is at least 89,050 square feet. This is about two acres. If a family of four is willing to buy flour instead of growing their wheat, they would only need about 1.5 acres to have a mixed diet of veggies, eggs, meat and milk. Subsistence farming is practiced to meet the needs of the farmer's family. Farmers do not have money to buy technology, so they use traditional tools. Family members provide labor and their production remains low. They are not able to grow surplus and sell in the market. Subsistence farming is further classified into two, intensive subsistence farming and primitive subsistence farming. Primitive subsistence farming is of two types, shifting cultivation and nomadic herding. In intensive subsistence farming, most farmers have small farms to grow crops. They use simple tools and more labor. Rice is the main crop, but because of the favorable climate, a large number of days with sunshine and fertile soils, they usually grow more than one crop annually on the same plot. Wheat, maize, pulses and oil seeds are grown as other crops. Intensive subsistence agriculture is practiced in the highly populated areas of the monsoon regions of South, Southeast and East Asia. Do you know, intensive subsistence farming is practiced in Punjab, some parts of Rajasthan, UP, MP in India. So learners, after discussing all this, one thing comes to my mind. What is so special about intensive subsistence farming? Any clue? Because intensive subsistence farming is high doses of biochemical inputs with the high extensive irrigation used to the high extensive manner, intensive subsistence farming is mainly used for obtaining higher production to an extent. Shifting cultivation is a type of primitive subsistence farming. 
It is mostly practiced by tribal people in forests of Amazon Basin, tropical Africa, parts of Southeast Asia and Northeast India. In this farming, a plot of land is cleared by felling the trees, then trees and other vegetation which was felled is burnt. Their ashes are mixed with the soil and crops like maize, yam, potatoes and cassava are grown. When the soil begins to lose fertility, the land is abandoned and another piece of land is cleared for growing crops with the same process. The areas of shifting cultivation are characterized by heavy rainfall and quick regeneration of vegetation. Shifting cultivation is also known as slash and burn agriculture. Can you guess the reason for this name? Shifting cultivation is known by drumming in Northeast India, Milpa in Mexico, Roca in Brazil, Ladang in Malaysia. Let's take a recap of today. Farming is a system, it involves input process and output. Farmers all over the world have adopted different methods of farming or farming types. Farming types are determined by the geographical conditions, demand of produce, labor and level of technology. Farming types are broadly divided into two, subsistence farming and commercial farming. Subsistence farming is practiced to meet the needs of the farmer's family. Farmers use low technology and family members provide labor. Their production remains low. In intensive subsistence farming, the size of farms is small but due to favorable climate and soil, farmers can grow more than one crop in a year. It is practiced in high populated areas of the monsoon regions of South, Southeast and East Asia. In shifting cultivation, a patch of forest is cleared, burned and ashes are mixed with soil. When the fertility of land decreases, a new patch of forest is cleared. It is practiced in forests of the Amazon Basin, Tropical Africa, parts of Southeast Asia and Northeast India. For assessment related queries, please visit our assessment banks. Get your assessment issues answered by experts. In our next video, we'll discuss commercial grain farming, mixed farming and plantations. Till the time, take care and keep learning.